Let's go on that date in the rain. <laughs> so, Royal Dragon, what is the Empire planning? <laughs> Yuma, do you have time? You remember we made plans. Oh, that. Right? Yeah, of course, I've got time. Arigato. Well, I'm free right now. You want to go to. Want to go somewhere? Sure, that'd be great. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. In the rain. Where have I not went? This way. Oh yeah, I can't sprint. Nani? Getting hungry, you say? Hmm, my nose is itchy, really itchy all of a sudden. It's probably got spice all over there. They're famous for having most variety in all of the store. It's good that they have a lot of variety, but I'm right on the edge of sneezing. Are you okay? I have a handkerchief here. Here, Huma, face me. If you need to blow your nose, I can hold this for you. I I'm fine. Come on, you're embarrassing me. I can do it myself. Konnichiwa. Pancakes, you are so great. Come on, hurry up and try yours, Yuma. Let me see. Hmm. I wasn't expecting a pancake, pancake to be this warm. It's so strange. You haven't eaten many pancakes before, huh? Not really. Especially not anything as good as these. I'm glad you like them. You can have mine too. Hungry again. Is something wrong with that flower, Yuma? You've been staring at it for a while. I wanted to give you one as a present, but I don't know which one suits you the most. Uh -huh. A flower? For me? I can't make up my mind. They're all so pretty. Any one of them could be a good match for you. Uh -huh. You think so? I'm glad you've been giving it so much thought, but if it's a gift from you, any flower would make me happy. Uh -huh. Huh? How did I get this late? I always lose track of time when I'm talking with you. I hope that was a nice change of pace. Of course, all the men mental fatigue is gone. Poof. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Maybe we can do this again sometime. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk more when we can. Mm. We should head to the castle. Yuma, hello. Are you here to discuss the distortions? Uh, um, not today. Sorry, I just wanted to drop in and say a hi. Sorry. I see. Well, whenever you have the time, I'd appreciate help with that issue. Yeah, don't worry. I'm still committed. Hey, all. I hope I'm not interrupting. Well, good day. What can I do for you? I was gonna get you to consult on something, but if you're busy with Yuma, it can wait. Oh, I'm not here for business or anything. What's up, Lyle? I was just gonna ask Kilfride if she had a spare star wrench lying around. My size 14 broke. A size 14 star wrench? I don't believe so. My apologies. I see. I thought you might, since... Bah, I gotta find a spare. I need to keep my business going. Lyle, what's a star wrench? Uh, a wrench with a star-shaped head. Harmonic builds all use these weird five-pointed fasteners, so... A specialized tuner tool? I don't think that's gonna fall under Alfreda's wares. No, probably not, but she's got niche gear like that in sometimes. I figured I'd ask. Star wrenches, star wrenches. You might want to speak with Leslette. I believe she knows the supplier. Oh, that's great. Um, Leslette's where? 
I'm not actually certain. I believe she went out. Alright, I can wait around. Thanks, Alfredi. <clears throat> Excuse me, are you open? Oh, Captain Burrows, the, that waterproof cloth you asked for is in. I have a few different samples for you to consider. Ah, good, good. I'll come have myself a look. Alfredi always seems so busy. Sure, everyone kind of leads on her to some degree. Whatever you need, if Alfredi can't get her hands on it, she knows someone who can. You say that, but isn't your wrench... Hello, Lyle. Is this the star wrench you needed? Well... Hey, it's a size 14. Yep, she'll do nicely. Thanks a bundle, Lislet. I'll send the invoice along. See you around. Phew, and now I can get back to work. Drop by the studio when you got time, Yuma. Wait, but Alfrede left with Burroughs that way. If this lad came from the other way, how could she have known about the wrench? Weird. Maybe they can communicate telepathically or something. I don't know. Is that a new quest? Oh my god, you have new quests. Do I even want to do these? I mean, this one's free. There's no point. Hey Yuma, you know you can just open the box and take what you need, right? No, no, I'll pay you properly if I need anything. I think I'm good for now though. Then talk to me. I've talked nothing but business and numbers since I woke up, and I'm bored. You're a traveling merchant, aren't you? Isn't business like... Good morning. Hello, Emma. <laughs> what can I do for you? I want to pick up a painting of some kind for the walls. They're so awfully dreary. A painting for the inn, huh? Nothing violent, then. I have a good action scene of the... If the hero Kira is slaying a monster. No, no, that won't do. Do you have any landscapes? Waterfalls? Mm, I'm afraid not, sorry. Oh, but hold on. Alfreda might have something like that. She's gone off somewhere right now, but... Oh, really? I'll have to ask her about it. She was just here too. I wonder where she went. Then I'll stop by later. Thanks for the information, Lislet. Who mentioned it? I was bored anyway. Hello, Yuma. Oh, and Emma too. Hi. Hey, Sonia. I was just passing through. Are you here to buy or...? Not quite. This lad, could I get you to come to the castle? I need your advice on outfitting the garrison. Oh, an order from the top. I don't ex typically keep myself so busy, but the king has been good to me. I'll hear him out. Thanks. I'll see you later, Yuma. Emma. I thought Emma left. Armor for the knights. This lad really does have a hand in everything, huh? Indeed. I can't imagine what we'd do without her. Emma, Yuma. Oh, Alfreda, you're home? This lad and I were just talking about you. No juicy gossip about me, I hope. Incidentally, Emma, will these paintings do? Well. Huh? Oh, they're lovely. A still life of a vegetable garden and a seaside landscape. They're both so well done. Oh, I can't choose. I'll pay for them both. Wait, if this lad went with Sonia, when did Alfrede hear about the painting? These two are full of secrets. I'm gonna assume they can communicate oh, telepathically or something. Am I done? I don't... See new quest? Is that one new? That one might be new. Oh, do you have a flower to sell me? Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, that Beatrice. I'll teach her a lesson. 
I have a pretty flower for sale today. Well, would you like one? Happy day. I haven't had a need to spend money yet. Like, an actual need. I mean, I can, but... Oh. Hey, did Fernando write that score? Let me take a look at it. <laughs> hmm, I see. Alright, I'll tune your harmonics to match the score. New tuning. Okay, what do we got? Earth Shadow and Rogue Dragon. Increases break effectiveness, but decreases attack speed. Yeah, you don't really break that well anyways. Earth Element is added to normal attacks. Shortens force cast time for magic. I think I want to keep that. Uh, light element to normal attacks. Hmm, lighter ice. Oh, I guess what each rank your attack actually goes up. Or your damage and stuff. Adds darkness to attacks. Increases effect of healing. Eh. You, I don't really care. Increases brick effectiveness. Clash of darkness. Adds darkness to attacks. Sure. What do you got? Increases MP recovery from normal attacks. Change aspects. I don't have any more aspects. Okay, is this one new? It is not. Let's go to the part of town. I had to go to the castle, right? Uh, he has something to say to me. I have that quest finished. I'll do the quest first. What is your quest? New pen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What did you say? I have a new pen and I'm ready to explore nature. I'm going to display my social last scholar elastic aptitude. My backpack rips open. Uh, looks like there's a hole in my backpack. I need to hide. I need to hide to repair it. Shoot, I want to go exploring as soon as possible. Huh? You'll help me? Okay. There are lizard men in the forest. I can use their skin to patch up my backpack. My bag. Yatta. Bubble bomb. Oh, you've well done. Your accomplishment shall be acknowledged here. Who knows what the Empire has in store for the World Dragon Souls. We must get them to them first. You know, I kind of want to just ignore all, all the dialogue stuff now. Because this game is taking a long time. I know it's an RPG and all, but... I feel like the main story is just getting delayed by me doing mm. all of this so much. Like side quests, I'll do Fernando's ones. Because they seem to give me scores. The Imperials took us off guard, you know. We figured we had a losing hand at the start of all this. One time, a band of skirmishers got the courage together to raid the castle. They even took the princess. They kidnapped Sonia? Oh yes, emer national emergency, see? As soon as I got word, I meant it up and rode out to rescue her myself. They already squirreled her away to their forward base. By the time I showed up... By the time I showed up. Good base, that one sturdy. So you, uh, fire your way into... And then back out of, of an Imperial stronghold? By yourself? Oh sure, hell of a fight. I see. King Albert was out on with his vanguard, so defending Marga should have been my duty. I slipped up. The Crown Princess had abducted on my watch. It'd be a, my great shame if I couldn't make it right. I had to take action. Now, after I slew the... Enemy commander in dire single combat, that's where the real fighting started. Determined not to let the princess escape alive, enemies' ranks started closing in. Hearts set on cutting us off. 
but with the princess in one hand and a pole axe in the other, that's when I charged valiantly forward. And uh, what, uh, what happened then? Ah yes, I led a desperate one-man charge back to the gates of my beloved Marga for blood and glory. Oh, and the enemy tried to stop me. I applaud those charioteers, ch charioteers, I think, for trying, brave lads. But my steed, he knew better. He leapt clear of them all. Your horse jumped over chariots? <laughs> of course. Right before he trampled a thousand enemy soldiers underfoot and carried me swiftly back to the safety of the city walls. A thousand, huh? I'm not sure even Burrow is capable of all that while cradling a child in one arm. He must be adding flair to the story. The last yarn he spun me went wildly out of control too. Maybe Captain Burrow just likes telling tall tales. And the princess? Oh, she had a blast the whole way. She grabbed me around the neck and said, You're so awesome, Burrows. So cool too. And ruggedly handsome to boot. I'll marry you when I'm old enough, you hear me? And... And if she said anything more, I couldn't make it out. Through the kisses, she was showering me in the time. Aren't you exaggerating a bit now, Uncle? Uh, um, eavesdropping, really, Emma? I heard the whole thing, Uncle. It's not good to mix in lies just because Yuma doesn't know the whole story. I don't think the words ruggedly handsome or marry you ever figured into it. The words I remember were more like, You're really tough, Burrows. Make me your apprentice when I'm older. Uh, caught red-handed. Sorry, Yuma. I just figured it'd be more interesting story this way. Oh, he made it up. Yes, Uncle enjoys mixing in lies to spice up his stories, but at least the true parts were interesting, weren't they? I guess, but Emma? Yes? Which parts of that story were true, apart from the Sonya stuff? Which parts? Even the rest of it was true. What? What? If the rest was, then that story you told me last time was also... My grand adventure with King Albert? Sure. Maybe Burroughs is way scarier than I thought. Hi Yuma, I've been looking for you. I want to tell you... I want you to tell the others. The Empire is preparing their next move. I want the Dragonairs to take care of them. 30 humans. I got a dragon horn. Good answer. I'll let you decide when to strike. I'm counting on you. Alright, story time. <laughs> After all this time. I spent so much time doing side quests and those talks. They keep saying the word Yggdrasil. Is that? The, that doesn't translate to world dragons, does it? Because Yggdrasil is the, the giant tree in some mythology. I think it's a tree. Something. I forget. ユグドラシュ実は
ここはお姉さんがいろいろ教えてあげましょうよよろしくユグドラシルというのはこの世界が生まれた原初の時から存在したと言われる最高位のドラゴンなんですユグドラシルは全部で5体いて陸竜海竜空竜明竜高竜という名前で呼ばれていますただラグナロクの時長い戦いの間に傷ついていたユグドラシルは神を封じるために最後の力を使い果たしドラゴンソウルとなって滅びてしまったんです高竜様だけが肉体を失ってもこの世に意識をとどめドラゴンソウルにならなかったのはアルモニクスがあったからだと言われていますこの世には7つのアルモニクスがあるのですがそれらは全て高竜様の体から生み出されたものなのですラグナロクよりもはるかな昔に人々と心を通わせるため高竜様はアルモニクスを授けてくださいました高竜様の肉体が滅びた時ドラグナーたちがアルモニクスを奏でて力を送り続けた結果高竜様の意識は消えずに済んだのですこの世界のどこかで高竜様は眠り続けていると聞かされていたのですがこうして実際にお会いできた私は本当に幸せ者ですつまりユグドラシルってのはドラゴンたちの中でも最上級の強さを持った連中ってことさでも帝国にはドラグマキナもいるよねあれはユグドラシルじゃないんでしょもちろんですよドラグマキナはラグナロクの時に神の側に組みして戦ったドラゴンなんです神が作り出したドラゴンだって話なんですけどユグドラシルにも負けない力を持ってるらしいですいわゆる伝説のドラゴンってやつですね神が封印されたせいでドラグマキナは眠りについたんだがそれを眠りから覚ましたのが公女エクセラだって話だぜそうだったんだ神はとても大きな力を持った存在だったと伝えられていますそしてその力を使って世界を作り変えようとしたらしいんですそういった神の行いを止めようとして光龍様を含むユグドラシルが神と戦ったのがラグナロクだったと言われていますコウリュ以外のユグドラシルは4体ドラゴンソウルも4つそのうちリクリュウは帝国がまんまと手に入れたってことは残りは3つ帝国がリクリュウ以外のドラゴンソウルを見つけていなければですけどねそうだなだが全部を抑えちゃいないと思う最低でも一つできれば三つともこっちで先に手に入れたいところだ You don't know that They could easily have gotten them all At once ねえキリカ様ユグドラシルのドラゴンソウルがありそうなところってご存知だったりしませんか今の時点で特定はできませんが推測することはできますハイエルフたちは共に戦ったユグドラシルたちのドラゴンソウルをどこか安全な場所に祀ったのではないかと考えられますおそらくそのような場所は現在でも遺跡となって残っていると思われるのですが私たちの知る遺跡にそのようなものが見つかっていないということはまだ知られていない遺跡がいくつもあるということではないでしょうかそっ雲をつかむような話だけど今はそこからたどるしかないわねまずは町に出て情報を集めてみましょう。
よしよし Let's walk around the city. Joshua, do all right, Apple, what do you got? しかもあんまり知られてない場所そうなんだ町のみんなにも聞いて回ってるんだけどどこかそんな場所ないかな遺跡自体を知ってるわけじゃないけど草原にあるラドラム地下空洞な知ってんだろ前にプリムラを助けに行ったところねああ実はあそこって昔いきなり草原の一部が陥没してできたらしいんだよでその下に何があるかまだ全部を分かってないんだってさだからもしかしたらあそこなら知られてない遺跡があるかもしれないってことか今のところ他に手がかりもありませんしとりあえず調査が必要なのではありませんかでもさ調査に行くなら気をつけろよあの辺り最近妙な噂があってさどうも出るらしいんだよ幽霊がいや幽霊どうしましたアグナム顔色が悪いですぞえいやなんでもねどんな幽霊なの何でも子供の幽霊らしいぜ地下空洞に入ってくと突然子供がどこからともなく現れて<笑>出て行けーって脅かしてくるんだってさそそうか幽霊話の真偽は分かりませんが。とにかくラドラム地下空洞には何かがありそうですねそうね調べに行きましょう元気かこんにちは I was half expecting to be there to be dialogue When I left that, yes, I could see. Kuruwa, yo, Jimby, stay. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? こちらに行きます。They're kind of just like standing there, so I was wondering what was up. こちらに行きます。Do you ever tell jokes, Jinus? こちらに行きます。I've never told a joke since the day I was born. Told a joke before I was born either. <laughs> Is that a joke? I consider yeah, that a joke. Thank you. Oh, it's done. Okay. <laughs> 